I love yeah. when developers embrace that stuff too. Like um, Derek Yu with Spelunky is a great example yeah, where yeah. he hid a lot of stuff in that game, but also there are things the community has figured out that you know he never intended people to do or never thought people would do. Uh, but he embraces that stuff. He doesn't like, oh, I got to patch out that exploit yeah, yeah. they found. That's just part of the DNA of that community now is finding the craziest ways to exploit this game. And um, th I think that keeps things al alive yeah, longer yeah. when, it, it, when it, you totally. embrace it's that. It's kind of strange. Know? Like, um, I know the, the Octodad guys, and they would they would do, like, patches and stuff. And, like, they'd have speedrunners be like, could you not, could you not fix this? Because it's, like, integral <laughs> to, to the speedrun. So... It's like a it's a strange relationship, but I love that. Yeah, I love yeah. when bugs become features. Yeah, yeah. There are things uh, in Terraria that happen too, where uh, if you guys know what hoiking is, hoiking is a trick in Terraria where when they added slanted blocks, like like slopes, people figured out that if you made the slope push into you, you would get pushed a direction away from the slope depending on what angle it was. And so they, and incredibly fast, and you could link them together. So if you got pushed into one slope, you could zoom like all the way across the map faster than anything possible in the game. Or up or down, like any direction. You could use it on items, mobs, players, anything. And the developers relogic eventually were just like, we're just not gonna fix hoiking mm. because it became so, like key to these creations that people were making right. and people liked it so much that the bug just became a feature yeah. <laughs> and now that now it's a thing I mean, but it's interesting too. You talk about how it becomes a feature. I mean as uh, Dev you don't want to fix these things if they're like clearly opt-in like Exploits for this one purpose you can still play the game normally you can still play it as Designers as content creators intended, but if you want to opt into this and have fun with it, as long as it's not breaking that baseline experience, then you, you keep it in there and you let them, you, you let these sorts of things happen, which are really, really cool.